welcome back to another one. Oh man, I did a review on the Rojas uh, Tech Reviews channel on a router that I thought I might have some issues with because I heard a lot of people saying that this router had issues. And I was very hopeful to say that maybe this router will stop all kinds of buffering. And I, I wasn't really buffering much before, but I want to be like no buffer zone. I got to tell you guys, this thing so far has been insane. And I mean in of the best way possible. Uh, check the description below. I'm going to have the information to this router and I got to say, so far, so good. I've been using it for about a month now, a month and a half. Actually, two months now. Oh, my gosh, two months. since Yeah, I started with a month and then two months. <laughs> two months. Two months, guys. It is. It has been great. Check the description below. Have you guys set up. Also, VPN flash sale down there right now. Get it. Let's go. Okay, what are we going to do here? What are we going to do here? Check this out. This is the Nighthawk AX12 tri-band. This has Wi-Fi 6, 5G, 2G, everything that you need. 12 streaming tri-band Wi-Fi router with the latest Wi-Fi technology, faster speed, increased capacity, um, nine times faster, suitable, easily 50 devices, ideal for multi-gigabyte internet, multi-gigabyte. Let that sink in for a second. They have their own app that you could use. Um, there is one negative thing that I do not like, which is their armor cybersecurity. I do not like it at all. Uh, AX11000 model is the Rax 200. Check it out. I'm going to leave it right there for a second so that way you guys could pause the video to read all that stuff. It has a lot of information. Now, let's go ahead and flip it to the side here. That way, uh, to the other side, that way you guys could see all the specs also. Go ahead and pause the video. I'm going to move on in three, two, one. And then, of course, we got the back. Just tons and tons of stuff here. I literally don't know what to say about this thing besides of how great this has been. Now, um, the, the, I, I kept the box because I still don't know if I'm keeping it. So far, I'm, I'm, I'm keeping it. So far, I'm keeping it. Now, I did want to show you guys the app here. The, this app is just super nice. So all you got to do is just search Nighthawk, and there you go. So Nighthawk, as you can see here, my security thing is turned off. I don't need it. Device Manager. This thing is super nice because it tells me everything that is on. And then I could just, with that little green, I could just click it, kick somebody off if I want to. Um just some great great stuff here so i got my wired it shows me my wired stuff and then if i go all the way up here to the top it shows me my 2g whatever is on my 2g come down here it shows my 5g so pretty good stuff here now my internet speed i think on my phone right now i have i am connected to the 5g right now and i am way upstairs if i do my internet speed test this i it just says test my speeds this will start pulling up the numbers and what it does, it checks my current location of where I'm at. Now, um, again, my router is downstairs on the bottom corner towards the, the back upload speeds. I'm getting about 21. My ping is only nine, which is nuts. My download speeds, it's uh, 230. That first number was 170. So it it, it, what it's doing is it's checking the speeds and trying to get a consistent number. So my ping, 9 milliseconds, which is great. Upload, 21 is my upload speeds, which is great. And my download is 184. So after a couple tests, which is amazing. Now, if I do back up out of here, I, you do got parental controls, Wi-Fi analytics. This is actually pretty cool. I can actually scan. And let's just do a 10-second scan. And what it does, it actually checks the signal strength. Obviously, this is going to be amazing. This is going to be very good. This is okay, and this is not good. So start scan. Let's do five seconds just to, to test it out. And it says interval five seconds. Right now, it's showing good. Negative 57 uh, dBm. Signal strength 
an amazing feature. If I scroll over here, I could set it up which room I want. If I scroll over here, I could scan everything where I'm at. It's telling me my channels, the best channels I could actually choose from. Here, it'll tell me um, clarity. Channel 11 is average. Channel 3 is the best. Channel 4 is the best. Pretty good stuff here. And it, and it gives me some graphs here, some analytics, some really, really good stuff here. So if I'm just like, hey, I don't, I want to be on a different channel, I could definitely switch it off here. Um, my Wi-Fi settings, I could choose my bands. So if I'm here on this one, here is my, the name, the password, I could share it. Uh, the security method, I could change uh, WPA2, PA3, PA, uh, dual PA1 uh, and 2, or dual 2 and 3. Some great, great stuff here. I could do the smart connect where it just chooses the band, which I have turned off. And yeah, I, 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 I don't buffer. When I tell you guys I really don't buffer, I don't. You could set up a Wi-Fi right there. Up here, you have your notifications, which I have turned off because that was with the security. There is my net gear. Here's all the information that I need there. If I need to reboot it, check for updates, whatever it is, it has the MAC address, the serial number, everything. Now, with that little cloud here at the top, when you do come here, um, you have your settings, uh, more from net gear, new setup, you, subscription account. You have everything here that you can choose from. This is the best router that I've played with so far that people are, are always asking, how could I stream Netflix movies? How could I stream Netflix, Disney Plus, whatever, Hulu, TV shows with no buffer? This is it right here. So far, I have this thing connected to my shield. No buffer whatsoever. I, I game on this thing. No buffer whatsoever. It's just so far it's been insane. When I first set it up, and it was doing its updates. I did have the Ethernet that was losing connection. And when I read it where it says if I want to do a dual gig, uh, 2.4 or 5G, you have all these different options that you could choose which type of consistency of your speeds that you want. I just want one consistent speed. I don't want it to be dual. I just want it one for my PlayStation or for my uh, NVIDIA Shield. As soon as I hit click to to stream boom up it, there's there's no loading time it's just it just it just works it just works insane if there is any kind of loading time we're talking about seconds um the caching is just lightning fast this is the fastest router that i've played with before let me know what you guys think um mesh systems are great these guys have their mesh system also um, there's all different types of routers. What is it the router that you are currently using that you're experiencing zero buffer? Zero. I like to control everything that I have within my router. I don't like the smart connect. I want to say, hey, I'm going to connect this device to the 5G. I want to connect this to the 2G. Um, I want this to, you know, however, however I want it, I want to choose it. I don't want it to smart connect it because sometimes it doesn't really act so smart so let me know what you guys think i always appreciate you guys um link in the description below on this thing so far it's been amazing no buffer whatsoever best router to get for 2022 hands down so so far so far so i still got another month to give you guys the final verdict but man love it love it love it as always you guys take care take care of each other happy new year happy holidays you guys be safe out there and yeah, see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys.